going on everybody? Solo Yakko here and I am at Jensen Beach Causeway here in Jensen Beach and we're going to go do a little fishing and as you can see once again it's been a while but I'm out there open carrying expressing my rights making sure that you know you know your rights and uh it is 100% lawful under section 790.25 section 3 subsection H while engaged in fishing hunting and camping it is completely lawful to open carry so Express your rights or lose your rights, and um, let's go. Let's go try to catch a fish. So uh, don't forget, hit that like, that share, and that subscribe button. Most important, hit that subscribe, hit that bell, and um, let me know uh, where else you want me to go. But uh, for right now, I'm gonna stick close to where I live, and uh, we're gonna go fish Jensen. So uh, solo acker, deuces. So far, no bites, but I'm not sure this is going to get picked up on camera, but right along here, right where my fishing pole starts here, it goes out and swings, there's a color change, it's a little cloudy, and I see bait, I see all types of stuff, so let's get a couple casts in and see if we can't catch a fish, you know, fish, uh, especially snook, are ambush predators, and um, they will sit on that color line where fish think they're safe they hit that color line and the fish are there to ambush them so that's the goal Let's see what happens That's not good. Yeah, yeah, those aren't any. You didn't catch any snapper or nothing? No. No. Eh, that always sucks. Mother in law fish? Yeah, those are ugly, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's 100% legal. Uh, while you're engaged in fishing, hunting, and camping, going to and from, don't stop at like a Walmart. Like if you're going from your house to your fishing spot, you can just like this. Yeah, as long as you're fishing. Um, you know, some people say the AR is a little extreme for fishing, but um, they're trying. They're really, they're really trying to trample on our rights, and and we have to show people that. Uh oh. Yeah, we have to show people that you know guns aren't the issue. It's really the people that are the people. You know, today nothing. I can be out here for three, four hours, and nobody's gonna. Yeah, they, and, and that's what I'm here for. I'm actually part of an organization that actually promotes for gun rights. And so I go, I pretty much go around the state of Florida letting people know that you still have rights and they're slowly trying to infringe on your rights. And so, you know, the only way to really get people to notice is yeah, to, hey. Have, even with the error, there's somebody likes, I heard about him, he goes from one county to another. That's me. Around, that's you? You're looking at him. Uh, um, my name's Solo man. Yacker. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, yeah. You know he does. He goes to I go, I go um, from Sebastian, Miami. He does this on purpose for police to stop No, I don't want the police to. I, I don't want the police, dude. No, but you want to show him that it's legal. I, I, but people have to understand that when I do get by police and they let me go, guess what? It is. It's a legal right, and some people just don't like it. But so many people are so scared of guns that we have to try to undemonize the firearm to everybody over again you know everybody's they see all the mass shootings and all i get it i understand it's simple i sympathize for all of it i don't want anybody to die but there's so many more people that are saved by guns that than there are killed by, by guns, guns. That is and yeah i mean that's a cdc and a fbi statistic so Damn. to teach people to teach people gun laws is crucial right now because we have people that are really trying to strip our rights away so 
If we don't stand up for them, yeah, we will lose them. Needed, bro. We're from the Middle East, so we know. You know, you know. The second you, know. you don't have guns, that's when they, they, come. they come for you. Exactly. But I'm going to let you all get back to fishing. Um, check out my channel. It's uh, Solo Yacker. Solo Yacker? Yeah, S-O-L-O-Y-A-K-E-R. Just like a kayak, but with a solo on it. Is it on YouTube? Yep. You're good. You're good. S-O? S-O? Yep. L-O? L-O. Y-A? Y-A-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y
Yeah, I'm here. I'm not here to hurt nobody. I'm just here to catch a fish. And yeah. looks like you're already on it, man. Catching crabs and everything. He's moving. He's working it. No, that was my phone. <laughs> no, yeah, it gets them every time. <laughs> it got me. <laughs> that happened in Lynn University right here in Boca. Where he said, oh, you're taking away all our horses and troops. And he's like, yeah, because we have tanks. Why do we need a horse? Yeah. So if the military could get better ammunition, more rounds, stuff that I can shoot from the average person. Yeah, no, and that's, and that's the, that will always be the debate, because if it really does overstep boundaries, and the government does get tyrannical, that's what's going to happen, is we have to defend ourselves against them, and if they've, if they're the only ones with high capacity magazines, right, it was about tyrannical government, and that's what, uh, that's what it's about. Yeah, I've got a, I've got some more fishing to do. Yeah, no, and I, I, I welcome them. I, I won't, I won't argue. I won't shout down at them. We can, and, you know, we're, we're sitting there talking, and that's what, you know, we may not find a middle ground, but try, trying to understand the other side and trying to find that common ground. Right. Hey, you know, but. Regardless of what they're doing, because you never know. Right, you just never know. And um and that's and that's where trying to undemonize something to show people there are still good people in the world is crucial. Oh, I saw him. I saw him flash. Just right where underneath where all that bait is. I don't either. Yeah, I hear that. It was that far? see this fish man that is just so crazy that you're just right in that corner and they're just picking off crabs dude just there yeah tide's coming in though huh right just sucks it right around yeah a little eddy yeah that is so crazy Free line in it? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know if you had maybe a small split shot to get it down a little bit. Sometimes you have to with the current. Yeah. You got a gag out of the water. <laughs> Ew, I was telling them, like, you step on the head a little bit, and it stretches it a little. <laughs> yeah. So close, man. Like, yeah. Not even 23 and a half or nothing. I'm gonna let y'all get back to fishing. It's been a pleasure. My name's Mike.
go by Solo Yacker on uh, YouTube. Type in, what's your name? Solo Yacker, or just type in Open Carry Floor, and, and you'll find it all my videos. I've got roughly about 15. I mean, I have no problem with it. This isn't even, a, this isn't even an AR-15. It's a, it's a very, it's a 22. I try to carry the most unscariest round I can. Oh, hey, you need the 5.56. It's no, it's a baby. It's like it's like it's an upgraded pellet gun with a little oh, powder behind it. I mean, it still do damage, but it's but you know that's why you know once again I try to carry something that's the least we I think is the least scariest round, not least scariest because guns are just they're all they are what they are. Dude, I I carry critical defense in my uh in my 40. And I mean, they're pretty nasty. I, you know, I carried good rounds for my self-defense. I carry my handgun everywhere. Do I carry my AR everywhere? No. I only carry it when I, when I really try to let people know that we need to undemonize firearms. Undemonize people. No joke. 8 out of 10 carry. Yeah. We all do. No, everybody's got them on them. People are like, you? They're like, right here. They're like, holy shit, you yeah. carry two? Yeah. Everybody. I mean, come on. And, and, and that's the thing. I was, like, the, I was the only retired military guy. And they said, you don't want to carry? I was like, I, said, I just don't feel the need. You know, and we, and some people but don't. Do I have it in my house? Yeah. Yes. If you talk about my house, you're fucking done. Oh, you're right. done. You walk on my truck, you're done. Done. Touch anything of mine, and you're done. I mean, well, not, not touch it, but, you know, you try to infringe and hurt me. at certain places, you need to carry Yeah, yeah. I, dude, I almost got robbed in four years. And ever since that day, before I had my, my concealed weapons license, I open carried after that day oh, yeah. because I almost got robbed. But I was fishing, you know, two, three, four in the morning, you know, and you always have to have, I had that heightened awareness, but these guys, they were sneaky and they snuck up on me, man. Especially down here. You come out here on the weekends? Oh, it's sketchy. It can be. And oh, it's, that can be. It, it's sketchy. It's, yeah, yeah. it's fucking sketchy. All right, All right brother. Get, get, get I thank you for your service, though, man. I appreciate everything. Take it easy. You too, man. Good talk. Y'all have a good one. Slay them up. Oh, nice. Nah, he friggin' uh, he kept getting friggin' busted off by a fish, man. Like he kept hooking him, and he would run right back into the um, into the that pylon right there on the tip. No shooting of anything. Not unless they try to do harm to me, like try to kill me or try to hurt you. If I saw somebody trying to kill you, I would try to help protect you. You see what I'm saying? I'm a police officer. I'm not a police officer. I'm just a normal person. You don't have to be. You just have to be. Yeah, see? You just have to do the right thing with guns. You know, you have to be responsible. Soliacker on YouTube and uh, Instagram. Yeah, you want to take a picture? Uh, well, you, how, how, old, how old is he? Eight. And the uh, biggest one? Ten. Uh, you want him to want him with the rifle on? Yeah. Hey, I watched one of your videos. The guy like halfway into was like, do I smell weed? Weed? <laughs> 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 then he like, went, I think I smell alcohol. Uh, like, that's like, two different scents. It's like, all right, now. <laughs> and then, then I was like, oh, now you're fishing. <laughs> You are I was like, fishing right now. Out for anything. Oh, I smell something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When you when you get to the end, when their supervisor shows up, they're like, "So what happened?" Oh, la, la. he was carrying. And he's like, "Well, as long as he has that gun, or as long as he has that fishing pole, he can open carry." And they're like, "Even with the rifle, or even with the handgun, as long as he has that fishing pole, he can do that." And they're they're just like. And the, the the New York cop, he's like, dude, I'm 10-8. I'm out this bitch. He's like, I'm I'm not trying to get in trouble. <laughs> Believe me, there's there's gonna be a lawsuit against that motherfucker. Yo, I'm gonna, next time I go to the beach, I'm bring my I have a little MPX. Just have it hanging right here. I'm gonna do it. I huh? wanna do it. Bring a camera, <laughs> just in case. Just carry a camera with you, just in case. Yeah, I saw it, Papa. Put the picture phone down. I want you to take a picture, man. Oh yeah? Oh nice man. <laughs> That's awesome. So what do you uh what do you what do you what's the style are you? Style? What do you uh jiu jitsu? Jiu jitsu, jiu jitsu. Jiu -jitsu. Jiu -jitsu.
Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, Jiu Jitsu and Judo kind of go hand in hand. Take it easy, bro. Yeah, man. Wrestling's crucial because uh, there are a lot of wrestlers that can still overpower. You know, they can go go back and forth with Jiu Jitsu, and they've got a little more technique, but some of them wrestle is just, they, they're just beefcake, dude. Adam, you want to take a picture? Ah. Yeah, don't touch the fence. Alright. Oh. Alright, gun's on safe, right? Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm going to lift this up and over. Yep. You're going to stick one arm out like that. All right, ready? No, nope, other side. Other arm. No, nope, other arm. Lift up. Okay. Don't touch the trigger. Okay. There you go. Now, finger out. Finger out. At the top, like that. Keep it low ready. Just like a bow and arrow. Yep, just like that. Low ready. And then you're going to get in the picture. No, 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 no. See, you pointed it. That was the pointing. <laughs> yeah, man. Thank you. All right, arm out. Yep, let go of this hand. I got you. You're good to go, buddy. Wow, thank you. Right. Yeah, see, see how that, that's not that scary. You know, you just have to, you have to understand. As you get older, you'll under, you'll get more understanding. And you're, I'm sure your dad's going to teach you more about life and how to be respectful. You know, you always hear about people getting shot. You no, know, we don't want that to happen. So it's always about having a clear head and being respectful to people. Obviously, if somebody's being disrespectful, you want to get yourself out of the situation so it doesn't escalate. Okay? Always try to get out of the situation. If it escalates to that point, oh wow, you got a big fish. Oh. Oh man! You took all of it. All of it, huh? Oh yeah. Oh look, there's the line. I see the line. You sure? It's moving. It is moving, but I had a different line on it. I had the green line on that one, right? Yeah. I had the red one. That was crazy. Did they take all the line? Took it away, dude. They took all of it. Yeah, that's most likely what sharks. Shark? It could have been a grouper. I mean, there's grouper yeah, under here. Yeah, there's a lot of grouper. Yeah. Yeah, they do. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice. All right. I'm gonna let y'all get back to fishing. Don't forget, so the actor on YouTube. I already tagged you. And oh yeah, sweet. I can't wait. I mean, I can't wait. I'll post that on a couple other my chats. So yeah, man. So I've seen you. Nice meeting you. Have you <laughs> we'll see you. You're meeting me, right? I'm everywhere, man. You just never know when I'm going to show up. <laughs> oh, I can't forget my bag. I almost forgot my bag. <laughs> oh, man. My wife killed me. That one. Everybody discombobulated. <laughs>
American dream today. Any luck, guys? Nice. Any size? Big, small? Average. That's good. Dinner. That's dinner. A what? A salty? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, no. He only keep the good stuff. <laughs> like coming right at us. I thought the wind I thought the wind was gonna take it off but it looks like it's kind of pushing right over top of us so no yeah it absolutely wasn't it was beautiful that's the only reason I came out I saw the sun start to poke its eyes out and I'm like I'll go fishing but uh now it looks like I'm gonna go home and drink beer <laughs> you know all I need is a barbecue to throw in the mix and geez how much more American does that get yes sir Y'all take it easy, catch them up, man, and stay dry. I like your grill. That's pretty patriotic there. How much did that go for? Oh, so you just bought a grill custom wrapped it. Nice, yep. nice. That's a cheaper way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We got a little storm coming, kind of rainy on my parade. So I got to head back now, but it is what it is. Life goes on. No fish, but I did talk to a few people, which is always a good thing. They still have rights, you know, and even for the people that don't agree with me, as the police officer drives by. But um, even if people don't agree with me, with or us, or with the Second Amendment, or how it needs to be rewritten, or whatever, at least some people can have a civil discussion about it. 